Hi everyone and welcome back. In this video, we're going to look at another example on how to solve a trigonometric equation, this time involving the cot function and the cosec function. In this example, we're going to be solving the trigonometric equation cot squared x plus cosec squared x is equal to 3 for x between 0 degrees and 360 degrees. The first step we're going to do is to express cot x and cosec x in terms of sine and cos, which we are familiar with. Cot squared x is equal to cos squared x over sine squared x. Cosec squared x is 1 over sine squared x. And the right-hand side is equal to 3. What we notice is we have a common denominator of sine squared x. So we can combine it into a single fraction cos squared x plus 1 over sine squared x is equal to 3. Just note that sine x cannot be equal to 0. Next, we're going to multiply both sides by sine squared x. This gives us cos squared x plus 1 is equal to 3 sine squared x. In order to solve this now, we want to convert it into a single trigonometric function. So I'm going to convert sine squared x into 1 minus cos squared x. That's the Pythagorean identity. So we have cos squared x plus 1 is equal to 3 times 1 minus cos squared x. Expanding this, cos squared x plus 1 is equal to 3 minus 3 cos squared x. I'm going to bring the cos squared x to the left hand side so that we have 4 cos squared x and the 1 goes to the right is equal to 2. Dividing both sides by 4 now, we have cos squared x is equal to 2 over 4 which is equal to a half. So now what we need to solve is the equation cos squared x is equal to a half. We take the square root of both sides, remembering that we get both the positive and negative answer of 1 over root 2. So if cos x is equal to 1 on root 2, this means that x would be in the first and the fourth quadrant. So our answer would be 45 degree or 315 degrees. If cos x is equal to negative 1 on root 2, we're going to get answers in the second and the third quadrant, which means x would be equal to 135 degrees or 225 degrees. So this gives us the four solutions to this trigonometric equation. Our solutions are x is equal to 45 degrees, 135 degrees, 225 degrees and 315 degrees. Thanks everyone for watching the video. I hope you did find it helpful. If you would like more examples, please have a look at our trigonometric equations playlist. And don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye for now.